this is a typical compact called control builder program uh, which is uh, running on soft controller uh, here is a just a one line program start stop and the run logic and it has to be uh, sent in the HMI but we are using third party HMI so we have the same variable in the access variables pane so start stop and run is mapping in the access variable from application one dot start application one dot stop and application one dot run so computer control builder is running the opc server for this particular uh, soft controller is running awesome you can see this is the opc server address and the plc address so the opc server is running okay so now the problem is we are using ti portal 13 and hmi tp 1200 uh, so if we go for the tech connection so we can see the connection the connection only supports opc ua other than many other thing but it cannot connect to abb so we have to connect opc ua uh, to the opc server of the acs 800m for abb but ACS 800M OPC server is a DA OPC OPC DA so we need a OPC DA and OPC UA conversion that means uh, data is collected from the soft controller by OPC DA ACS 800M and we have to make an OPC UA uh, for that can uh, receive data from the OPC DA and transfer to OPC UA the HMI can connect to the OPC UA so in here we need a bridge connection of the OPC and the conversion of the OPC from OPC DA to OPC UA also from the OPC UA to, to the OPC DA so we are using a third party software that is named as Coden Cogent Data Hub this is a uh, this is a software whose name is Cogent Data Hub so if we go inside there you can see how the configuration was made so Cogent Data Hub so here is the OPC UA and the OPC DA so OPC DA you can see we are using the same PC as the OPC server, as the OPC DA, and as also the OPC UA, and the Cosen Data Hub in the same local host. That means same PC. Okay. So OPC UA, we are named as OPC01. Yeah. We can see if we want to edit, we can see what we have done over there. So this is the OPC, we named is OPC 001, the OPC DA, the PC is the local host, because this is the, only this computer has the OPC client, as HMI, OPC DA, OPC UA. So our OPC DA server for control network, this is the control network for uh, this is uh, this OPC server is the OPC AC 800M OPC. I can show you. This is the OPC. This is the OPC which is collecting data from the soft controller of the AC 800M. So this OPC server is the OPC DA, and this is for the control network. Control network means it is for for ABB for this OPC server. For this OPC server. We named the domain as CCB Compact Control Builder. So manually we selected the items. We did not select all the items. Here you can see the application it is all connected and we did not take all from the application. 
we took only from the access variable we took some of these data run start and stop we we'll connect this and it and the it, it came as so when we connect this it will come up to the right right side of this window and we can see opc item name and local point name now it's the same okay so we uh, given the uh, updated 40 millisecond because opc da has to be faster than the opc ua so we can see now this is the opc da configuration is running and uh, we apply this we apply and it will show it is running that means my cousin data hub is already receiving data from the opc da that means opc for the ac 800 m so now i have to make this opc ua so so i started an opc ua here you can see the, my laptop is the opc ua server name and the endpoint name is cousin data hub by data access okay so you can see the advance Mm. So for this OPC, uh, this is also acts as the OPC client, UA client. So this is the endpoint URL, URL uh, that has to be copied, and these things has to be copied. And it has to be set as a connection name over here. I have to paste it over here. So, so the OPC UA is connected now to the WinCC uh, TIA portal. Sorry, TIA portal. So, the tech table here we can see the connection and also if the address we can see, we, we can give this as a you can see opc tcp ip this is the opc url which you copied and the from the root we can see we can select this item here from the access variable we can see all of this item so we can take one by one so later on we we have made a screen uh, while we tagged out these things, the start will hook up, uh, will hook up the start bit uh, from the UA, that UA will hook up to DA and the soft controller will receive the start request, also the stop request and this is the output bit that is coming from the soft controller to the DA and to the UA server and is a client receiving here so I can show you the simulation this is the runtime from the WinCC advanced comfort so we can see start command we have pressed so I think uh, there is a problem uh, Yes, yes, no problem. It is just updating. We can see everything in a single window. So I, I, I shot it. You can see. Uh, you can see this. And this is the OPC variable at the cogent data hub stop so we can see over here everything is stop start request this is started stop request this is stop i can show you the software also it's also working 
so you can see this now together I have given the start command this is the start output run output and we can give the stop command this is the stop so typically uh, TI portal the TP1200 device can receive a uh, bit uh, can receive tech connections from the OPC UA server but if we have a OPC server DA DA server so then we have to convert from OPC DA to OPC UA then we can uh, we can connect to HMI but here everything in the local host so that means uh, the runtime uh, TI portal runtime is on my laptop the soft controller and the ABB AC 800M controller is also in my laptop and also the Cogent Data Hub is also in the laptop and everything that the Cogent Data Hub is communicating uh, from the local host but I think it can communicate over the TCP IP also so thank you